New Orleans right now is in a really uh, good way with music. Um, our company has had tremendous success recently on the heels of Treme. The, the show debuted last week. We've had our best week ever with Kermit Ruffins on iTunes. His CD is selling very well. And um, that along with the Saints and the momentum that we had after the, with the Super Bowl and Kermit's uh, having a, a hit that was a Saints Christmas have really uh, become, started to make him more of the household name that we'd like him to be. Uh, Irvin Mayfield has a new club on Bourbon Street, you know, at the Royal Sinesta Hotel, Irvin Mayfield's Jazz Playhouse, Teresa Anderson is touring all over, John Cleary's touring all over. The interest in New Orleans music and in the city of New Orleans and in its brand is as great as it's ever been. Musicians are returning to New Orleans and we have more musicians in New Orleans. And it's not just musicians, I believe that people are people are returning and new people are coming into the city. I spend a lot of time on social networking and I see this great influx of young people in their 20s and 30s with a tremendous amount of talent who are coming to our city and I'm very optimistic about the um, the attention that our artists and our music is receiving, the culture is receiving, our food. Shows like HBO's Treme, even the real world New Orleans coming to town. We've spiced up their programming with some great music for their upcoming season. So, you know, we have lots of things to look forward to in the, in the next several years.